Hi, this is Non Inquisitor, and something came uh, came in from the mail. Uh, something from the wasteland. Something from Goodman Games. It's a uh, Kickstarter I backed uh, several months ago, if not uh, a couple of years ago. And, um, Goodman Games is known for its uh, OSR um, type of uh, RPG. I'm not myself uh, an OSR enthusiast. Um, maybe, a <laughs> maybe a general RPG enthusiast, but still, I have this uh, this mad crush on uh, on games that are about the uh, post-apocalyptic genre. So uh, when this uh, was announced on Kickstarter, I I, I uh, backed it uh, right away. So. Uh, this is my uh, my uh, first contact with the physical product, physical copy. Um, Goodman Games um, gave all its uh, backers um, a PDF of the game, so this is not my first contact with the game itself. But um, I've kept myself from uh, uh, perusing or browsing the PDF um, a lot, just because I wanted to uh, to wait to have the copy in my hand. Uh, lately, uh, although I, I did uh, uh, I did read uh, the classes, the type of character you can play in the game, a little bit more just by curiosity, but I I, I didn't I didn't delve deep into the uh, into the game itself. So this is uh, my first uh, opening of the box. Uh, I took a walk and just went to the local post office and grabbed the box and so it was a journey <laughs> to have this uh, product so um, the box was uh, in a bigger box uh, wrapped solidly with uh, with heavy tape um, uh, I have to say that uh, Goodman Games uh, do an excellent job at shipping uh, here in Canada um, there was no uh, no fuss at the postal office. I just picked up my my box, and um, it's not it's not my first time receiving a product from Goodman Game. But I just want to reiterate: uh, if I didn't uh, I didn't do it prior, so the box uh, the box is very cool. With the look, I don't know if I can throw this because it's, it's so. So cool. Uh, I am a visceral artist, so therefore, uh, when I see uh, when I see uh, <laughs> a box art like this, it makes me laugh a little bit. Uh, there's all kinds of things uh, going going wrong <laughs> in this picture. The proportion of this guy is uh, messed up, but it's part of the style. It's part of the aesthetic. In art, we call this naive art. And uh, it, there's nothing wrong with naive art, and this um, this type of visual fit perfectly the OSR type of uh, experience. So there it is. There's a couple more uh, things underneath. So this is a bright pink, uh, <laughs> probably the the only uh, pink colored uh, game I'll have in my collection. Uh, yeah, so this is a pretty much a OSR type of uh, of game. Uh, people following this channel may remind uh, may remind of some uh, videos I did on the mutant epoch, uh, or or just simply that I, I cannot shut up about this game. So uh, uh, William McCaslin uh, did the creator of the mutant epoch did some illustration in there but they are um, they are not many so um, the art style of this book vary wildly uh, from uh, from artist to artist so this is a map of the uh, suggested setting terra ad so it's pretty colorful uh, and uh, the opening page 
is literally the most OSR art you can possibly imagine with the etchings and the black ink, no color, black and white, so this is what you get. <laughs> uh, from uh, from a quick exploration of the PDF of the rules uh, and not being an OSR person, uh, I can say that the, the rules are pretty uh, pretty basic, pretty uh, pretty slick, pretty easy and light. Uh, it's one of those games where you started you start your character or your your wastelander or survival or, or scavenger uh, at level zero. And you, you you begin this process. You begin this uh, this life journey of being uh, a zero, and you go up, hopefully to uh, to a hero. Um, it's uh, like the mutant epoch. This game uh, suggests that you make many zero level character from the start before your first quest, and. The understanding is that many of these characters will meet their end uh, in a violent and a strange way. But uh, if you're lucky enough, you, you might survive this first adventure and gain your first level and then uh, and then uh, pick out uh, pick out a real class and and, and become a, a real hero in parentheses. So um, it's a deadly game. It's uh, it's perfect for uh, those uh, quirky uh, one shots, uh, short campaign where uh, you play in a beer and pretzels uh, kind of uh, mindset. So you play for fun. Uh, if your character explodes by stepping on a mine, uh, releasing all kinds of nasty radiations on your group, this is the type of game you, you're supposed to. Uh, to expect from this. So the table of content here uh, remind of an old uh, metal album from the, uh, the end of the 70s. <laughs> so it's really really a love letter uh, to all the RPGs that came uh, at the end of the 70s, at the beginning of the uh, 80s. So I won't, I won't flip through all the book. Uh, I just wanted to show uh, quickly. Uh, so it's an all black and white game uh, book. Um, I, I love black and white stuff, actually. Um, I'm one, uh, uh, as a visual artist, I consider myself, uh, you know, there are painters and color person. Uh, I've always considered myself an illustrator and a, and a line person. Um, so uh, my my stuff is 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 uh, coming from this. Uh, there's not uh, much uh, demand for black and white art uh, these days, but uh, this is my jam. Um, I'd say that my my drawings are are uh, not come. Uh, comparative to, to, to these, I may have another type of sensibility, but uh, but I enjoy this. Uh, uh, yeah, some some of these are some of these pieces are more well constructed than other. You see this character here. Uh, the proportion are correct. Uh, they look correct to me, at least. And uh, the uh, the ink work is pretty pretty decent actually. It's like uh, 80s comic book level of quality. And then you have these uh, <laughs> ridiculous character. So uh, so this uh, this portion here is the uh, defect defects uh, section. So we can lose body parts, uh, have body odors, and all that kind of nasty mutant stuff. These are the uh, mutation. So uh, uh, compared, compared to uh, a Mad Max type of uh, uh, setting, uh, a true human-centric uh, post-apocalyptic uh, kind of setting, this one is more like 
uh, original D and D when uh, people went to explore these dungeons and find out that the dungeons were uh, borrowed spaceships from another world, and they, they f the adventurer found laser type blasters and, and, and magic one uh, capable of shooting light at distance. Uh, this type of setting is more like uh, uh, the mutant epoch or uh, gamma world. It's more like fantasy, wi weird fantasy, uh, with the flavor of the, uh, the end of the world. Uh, so, uh, so I would approach it as is, uh, and not like the uh, uh, Twilight 2000 type of uh, <laughs> uh, type of uh, post-apocalypse. Uh, this is the judge screen. Um, this is a nice addition to the uh, to the Kickstarter. So you have all the table you need to play. Ability scores, actions, attack roll modifier, fumble, fumble die bar, bar, by arm, armor type, uh, primitive weapon damage, critical table, I love myself some critical tables, uh, some critical table for robots, and artificial life form, uh, and artifact checks, my guess would be that is what you roll when you, you use you try to use an, an old artifact maybe and this uh, is a list of mutations and radiation result so quite pleased this is a this is kind of a, a plastified or a, like plastic like cardboard it's not very thick but i've seen worse this is a pretty good screen it reminds me of the of the Mutants and Masterminds first edition screen, so it's uh, it's like a waterproof at least. So this is good. Now there's a pad of what seems to be character sheets. Uh, these uh, small uh, card-like uh, character sheets, four by sheets, reminds of the. the NPCs I used to do for uh, Savage World. So uh, my guess is that you uh, you will need <laughs> a lot of these characters. Maybe one sheet for one player, and each player generate four characters, maybe, or you just cut uh, what you need. So uh, this is this is pretty cool, actually, very cool. Now, creatures, uh, characters, and creatures codex. I have no idea what it is. Uh, it's a booklet to create stack of character sheet and worksheet. Okay, so it's like character sheet but blown up. My guess is that you 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 start creating your character on these little sheets, and if you um, and if you progress. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Level zero. So you start with these character sheets. You you try to survive your first adventure through level zero, and if you upgrade, now you're in the bug, big boy league. You deserve a full blown out character sheets. It's the same one but just bigger, and now you play your real character. Um, that's 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 very OSR as a, as adventuring modern adventuring goes. Uh, you could very well just start at level one or level two and just get on with it. If this is a tedious part uh, of the game to you, uh, yeah. And some cheat sheet for the radiation. All right, this is excellent. Oh, and this is good. A prop. Uh, <laughs> The Goodman Games Gazette. I know this fellow here. Is he? Is he the? Is he the the guy who appear in the Comargen in the Dungeon YouTube channel with Tim Cask? Is it? Is it this man? Uh, 
Okay, I'd like I'll have to investigate. Okay, so it's not a prop per se, but like a catalog of their catalog of their product or news. Yeah, it seems like a newsletter. This is cool. Not many company uh, not many company do that. It's pretty cool. It's a yeah, it's like two large sheet. There's a small adventure. This is great. I have nothing but good words for uh, Goodman Games. Uh, I'm not their target audience, but uh, in my uh, in my exploration of RPG, uh, I leave no uh, no company uh, no company um, in the corner uh, or disqualified from my taste. No, I, I, I try to to stay open-minded, and uh, but th this product would be uh, uh, is exactly in my wheelhouse uh, just because of the weirdness the superpowers uh, the post apocalyptic gonzo setting this is this is my type of game I'm not sure I would go the level zero road I might try it for fun but uh, yeah uh, this, is, this seems to be like a, a very good game and a very good adaptation of the idea of this this, uh, this gamma world type of setting. So uh, thank you for watching uh, and see you in the wasteland. Bye.